This episode is presented by DoorDash. Use promo code THETRIPOD when you download the DoorDash app for 50% off, up to a $20 value, and zero delivery fees. Ramble. Thank you to DoorDash for sponsoring this episode. I sometimes I'll go in there and I'll just like yeah. take five bottles of water and six bags of chips and That's throw it in my amazing. bag and leave. I used to, <laughs> this is actually something we could put in the podcast if we roll, is that I <laughs> I play Robin Hood sometimes. The Luke, stock app? No. The man. <laughs> oh, 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 like the lore. I have <laughs> that card. So when we fly Delta occasionally with Luberger, now we're obviously, Luberger doesn't have that card. Yeah. I, I can't get guests in. Right. But I'll go in. And I'll just go to the buffet Bring. and I'll fill up plates <laughs> oh, of yeah. food and take them out. And you're not allowed to do that. Yeah. So sometimes you have to get real crafty. Right. And one either plate, you have to. But it's full. Because one time, so we were in an airport where there were three Delta lounges across the airport, but it was one giant terminal. Right. So I went to all three to take little bits out at a time and see who had the best stuff. <laughs> And I found the Mecca, the big one, was like so much stuff. But I was bringing, I literally like did a, like a course of appetizers for one, uh, like Ugh. mains of like lunch mm. for another, and then desserts. And one of the times I brought back like a big thing of chicken salad. It was really good chicken salad. And wow. I brought us like chips and bread and stuff to make little sandwiches. Yeah. And as soon as I set it down, Alex Lewis grabbed something and dropped the entire bowl of chicken <laughs> salad onto the carpeted floor oh, God. of this airport. And I was like, devastating. Oh, darn. Oh, fiddlesticks. So I had to go back and get more chicken salad. And I got something else. And I brought that back. Huey, after having heavily ridiculed Alex for spilling the chicken salad, you know what he did? Spilled it. Spilled the chicken salad no! again. Oh. <laughs> At which point I had to say, guys, I can't get any more chicken yeah, salad. Yeah, I've really. And they're already out. on to me. Like the last time I came through, someone was like, you can't take that out of here. And I'm like, I've just got to catch a flight. I got to go. I was like, okay, but you, you really aren't supposed to take it out of here. I'm like, oh, I just got to go. <laughs> it's also like, what do they care? Who do you care? It's all going in the garbage. It's all, yeah, if they don't sell it, it's fucking. They're, it's going in the garbage. Trash, yeah. It's trash food. Okay, I was in the de this Delta Lounge this last time. Here we, we go. started the podcast. Yeah, we started the podcast, and also people are just tuning in for Delta. You know what it is? It's the Casey Neistat uh, airplane review seats, uh -huh. but yeah. for Delta Lounges. Yeah. So uh, we're sitting in the lounge and we hear this woman going around making announcements and she comes over to us and she's like, attention, everyone, just letting you know this is closed, but we do have Nathan's hot dogs, Nathan's hot dogs. And, and, what? And she's announced and everyone's looking at each other like, why do I care? Yeah. And so I just start going, Woo! <laughs> and try to get everyone to clap and no one would clap with me and I'm Bro, like yeah Nathan! I would have gone ape shit for Nathan's hot dogs he, she her, she she was just preaching to the wrong choir I, if I was in that lounge I'd have been like oh fuck yeah hot dogs hot dog is not really what I want before a flight I don't I, know man they got good food in there and like that's the thing they had like sun-dried tomato pasta and this chicken cacciatore and shrimp ceviche. I'm like, I don't need oh. the Nathan's hot dog. Yeah, that reminds me of a viral TikTok clip that I'm going to play for you right now. It's, okay. just, it's just audio here. If you're just listening for the audio, um, <laughs> it is at a movie theater screening and it says there's like s six people at this screening. Oh, I think I know. And it's just... Me in the regal Attention all Harry Potter fans! <laughs> So I think that was the first. It's a guy getting up in the front of an uh -huh. audience and trying to get everyone to go to join in with so. him, and no one does. It's so funny to me. Uh, but I saw another one where it was before the Dragon Ball Z movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. My. Before this begins, can I get one? Come and come and ya! I want to do that oh, for wow. every movie I see from now on. And then is everyone going, ha! Yeah. I mean, before that'd be great if they did it. 
Yeah, it'll be good. But people aren't willing to look silly. But it's funnier that he did a second I mean, one. It's very funny that he doubled down. <laughs> he like, knew that no one was doing it. Before we begin, can I get one? My name is Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and this is Black Adam. <laughs> yeah. I hope you guys are stoked for Black Adam. Yeah, I can't wait. It's it like- opened uh, to a Rotten Tomatoes score of 50% from 48, so it's really a coin flip right now. Oh, wow. 48 reviews said had 50% good. I'm like, wow. That- Ooh, Ooh, that's exciting. Yeah, it's perfectly ha- 24 good and 24 bad. That's so I'm funny. hoping that it morbs pretty hard. Oh, I think it's going to morb all right. I, but I love The Rock. I hate to see a flop. Yeah. Or do we? I think we love to see our heroes fall. Yeah, but I, I like The Rock. Oh, what's that sound? Do you feel a chill in the air? Because... It's time for America's favorite game. This is Spooky or Cookie. (laughs) New soundboard, what the fuck is up? Ladies and gentlemen, it's America's favorite game show. Yes, Spooky or Cookie. Oh, oh, it's looping, it's looping. <laughs> that was <laughs> chilling. You're it's not going to do the light thing again? Oh, well, the lights are broken. <laughs> okay, cool, cool, Actually, cool, no, cool. hang on. What light thing? Remember last year he made it spooky. Oh, 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 and then you just put Keith's just in the dark. <laughs> just turn the lights off. This on is Keith. good. This is good. All right. Yeah. Can you get the creepy music going again? Yeah. Oh, it's so, oh, it's awful. What did you search to find that sound effect? Um, it was just on, on, on Storyblocks. Oh, oh, it ah, loops. Ah. All right, I think the lights were this a mistake. Good just, out, you, should, you should play this outside your house when you're making a spooky little this house. This is kind of spooky. This is a spooky song. Especially the way that you think it's gone, and then when you least expect it. Oh, oh, oh God. <laughs> Oh, man. All right, everybody. It's America's favorite game show. Uh, Spooky or kooky. Spooky or kooky. Uh, uh, In uh, honor of Halloween. Well, I guess before we get started, um, I'm curious what your Halloween costumes are and if you've done anything spooky or haunted for the month of October. I'm going to be a taco. (laughs) Speak on that. Game. Well, I have a taco costume that's been in my car for about a month and a half. You're not just a taco. Well, I think I'm going to be just a taco. No! Here. I know. <laughs> I couldn't find. I wanted to be. I wanted to get the yellow gown that Belle wears in Beauty and the Beast at the end. Yeah. And be Taco Bell. Be a taco stuffed That's into a Bell gown. Really funny. Here's the problem. Yeah. Uh oh. To get a 2XL Bell gown delivered to me, yeah. it's going to cost $90 and wouldn't get was not guaranteed to get to me by Halloween. Yeah. You're rich. I know it wasn't guaranteed to get Do to it. me by Halloween. You're rich. It won't come. You're rich. It said it said between October twenty seventh and November sixth. Uh and I'm like, I can't. What am I going to do Wait, with no, the bell gown? In November, yeah. So. That's tough. Literally I, right here. You found what? one? Oh, this is for children. See? Yeah, that's the, the but thing. But you I, could just burst through it. Like, it'll be bursting I, the I'm seats. already going to. It needs to get on me or else it really won't work. Because it's a half talk. And yeah. I'm half. I'm fine with it being super fucking clunky and yeah. bunched up and also, bad. But it has to get around me. Why yeah. can't you do. You don't need to do the yellow bell. You could do bell in the beginning of the movie. The I blue know. Dress. I just want it to good. be beautiful. It's true. It will have more contrast Keith, than Taco. This is a adult bell costume that will come tomorrow. Two XL. All right. Let me see. Yeah, is he going to yeah, need an XL? Two XL. No. XL. Is he gonna I'm not an XL lady. Well, you know, I recently I'm discovered that I'm also th- XL. Yeah. I I'm a three XL lady. Okay. Oh X- yeah. XL. Two, XL. Okay. 2XL, I think I can squeeze it. Literally my... free delivery Monday. Get it. Well, I'm not buying it for you. Order it. <laughs> Why not? I already have to venue you anyway, right? All right that's true. All right. Add, <laughs> you all have right. to venue him uh-huh. for something? For some tickets, concert tickets. That's cool. Where'd you guys go? Gorillas. Oh, go- you're it going was to the so Gorillas? Fucking, fucking dope. It's wow. oh, fucking shit. dope. Yeah, it's we so saw, sick. We saw Gorillas at Barclays when we were in New York. That rules. Doom, 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 no man, no man, camo's back. I was fucking on a down on a camo's back. Okay, what was so dope about seeing Gorilla? There's so many things. I mean, you forget how many 
bangers they have. They do have a lot of They're them. so good. And what I love about Gorillaz, so Damien Auburn from Blur was like, hey, I want to make this new group to kind of experiment with different sounds. And so he makes this side project where he's collaborating with a bunch of different hip hop artists right. and rappers. And then it just takes off and becomes it dwarfs Blur in, in cultural impact. Yeah. And he, you can tell that he feels like he doesn't really feel this ownership. He's like, it's shared. It's like, this is, yeah. this is our thing. This is yours as much as it's mine. Like, here's this project. Right. We are. And at one point, someone else comes on stage and says, we are the gorillas. Like, it's not his band. You know, yeah. it's like this collective. It's an artist collective. It's super dope. It was so cool. They're, you have De La Soul come on just to do Feel Good Inc. Wow. Yeah. You know, like yeah. it's... That's cool. And they still have, you know, they used to perform behind the screen. Now the screen is behind them, but it still has this amazing, fully animated two-hour wow. show that yeah. goes along with their music. And what I liked about it is you see these slightly different artistic styles that they had on different mm -hmm. uh, albums and things. Like sometimes they have all white eyes. Sometimes they have all black eyes. Sometimes they have a normal white eye with a black pupil. And, and then sometimes like the colors are changed. The characters are changed. It was very cool to watch it back and be like, oh yeah, I remember that music video, but it's not the music video. It's just a video very similar to the original music video that they made for their concerts. Yeah. And they've probably been using some of those videos for, yeah, for 20 years. Yeah, sure. And it was so cool. The funniest, so I mean, Feel Good Inc. obviously <clears throat> is maybe the best song of the past decade, two mm -hmm. decades. It's just incredible. But they end with Clint Eastwood, <laughs> which love that song. Yeah. I ain't happy. Yeah, Feeling glad, glad I got sunshine. sunshine. So they're yeah. ending with that. You're as happy as you can be, right? And then as the song's about <laughs> to end, this guy runs on stage and just goes, Remix! And then what? they they bust into a remix of Clint Eastwood that you've never heard before. <gasps> and it's like, it happened. I'm feeling glad I got sunshine in the back. I'm useless. But not, but not, but and then it kind of has like this I'm bounce down. influence. Oh, and awesome. like it's kind of like Rastafarian a little bit. And you're like, what the fuck? Like, it was fun. But to close your concert on yeah. a song that no one's ever heard. It was That's crazy. Baller. It was bonkers. That's it was cool. really fun. Yeah, uh, it was Very great. Special. Great performing. Like just like they owned the uh, the crowd. It was super fun. Hmm. It was great, but we were distracted. What was your what's your Halloween costume? So Sarah and I are trying to decide between a couple. I think that to me, the one that makes the most sense, but I got to act fast on is um, Monsters Inc. where I'm Sully and Sarah's belly is Mike Wazowski. Hilarious. <laughs> Absolutely that hysterical. That is adorable. And hysterical. then like up above the belly, she just wears like a black balaclava. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But then below it's green, bright uh -huh. green, great green leggings. Painted eye. Painted eye on the belly. On I'm the actually belly. very upset because in this moment, you just made me remember the Halloween costume that I swore last <laughs> year I was going to do yeah. and that I needed time to prep and I forgot. <laughs> so I'm not going to do it. I've been dying to be Boo yeah. from Monsters, Inc., when she's wearing the costume oh. of the purple monster. Oh, that's yeah. really good. Yeah. And I, I tried to make it happen last year, but you kind of have to custom make it. Right. You have to DIY it yeah. or hire someone. So that'll be my next year costume. Good. This year, I'm being Jamie Lee Curtis from Everything Everywhere All at Once. Hot oh, fingers. that's a great. Uh, so I have I have her yellow turtleneck. Gray I've wig. got that hot dog. I got the gray wig. I got the hot dog fingers. That's awesome. I've got the googly eye. Yeah. Um, that's a really good costume. It's going to be fun. Yeah. We'll give yeah. you Morbius is also a good costume. Oh, I'll be Morbin. You be Morbin? Well, I guess what would it's you It's Morbin time. It's Morbin time. We be Morbin. Watermelon. It's America's favorite <laughs> game <laughs> show. What if you and Sarah were spooky or kooky? And you dress up as like a like a, a dementor, scary cookie, and she a dresses dementor. up with a cookie belly. <laughs> That's pretty cute too, spooky or kooky, ladies and gentlemen. The first topic on spooky or kooky. Here we go. Oh, That's, yeah. Oh, I, we all love it. A pumpkin appearing on your kitchen counter. <laughs> That's spooky. I'm calling that spooky, and especially if it's like at any time, that'd be spooky. Yeah, February. I'd be like, why is this here? Hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of voice was that? Ooh, can you hit that? Hey, baby. 
Is that I again? I this this morning and I was so excited to play it. Hey, baby. Oh. <laughs> hey, like, ba- hey, it's baby. Al- it's hey, almost baby. like Elvis. You gotta have your mouth all the way. Hey, baby. <laughs> hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, ba- Dude, that's good. Kid. Hey, baby. Yeah. I like that. Thank you. So pumpkins, look. A pumpkin the, appearing, but you didn't even ge- ask for it. Right. Well, pumpkins in general yeah. around your house, a kooky. I'm sorry. Yeah. Kooky. It's a kooky. It's kooky. It's, it's kooky. a kooky. Because I love, I love this time of year. We have little felt pumpkins that we decorate our house. We have little ghosts. And so <laughs> I come home one day and yeah. Maggie's like, Pacham! like changed it around and it's it's spooky season. I'm like, that's a real kooky. But if there's a pumpkin on my kitchen counter. That you didn't ask for and no one even knows how it got there. That means we have to carve this shit. And yeah. I think that is a chore. That's spooky. Spooky. You think that is spooky to carve a pumpkin? I'm taking spooky to mean not, not a treat. Well, so, I, yeah, you know, <laughs> and that's correct. The correct uh, definition. <laughs> I carved a pumpkin on Saturday. Um, my friend had a car- pumpkin carving. Car- Did thing. it stink? It doesn't stink until the next day. It does kind of stink. And you it does reach your stink. hands inside the innards but, and you pull it all out and then you got to scrape the inside. Then your I was nails proud. are full of pumpkin gunk. I was proud of making my pumpkin because I made a little mini pumpkin. Well, I like that. Car- you need a win. I barfed. I barfed. You barfed? I barfed. You barfed, I barfed into your it. pumpkin? No, I carved a little mini pumpkin and then I carved the teeth and it was like the big pumpkin chomping on the little pumpkin that it was screaming and like puking pumpkin. So guys. you put, wait, you put a baby pumpkin in a big pumpkin. I put a baby pumpkin in the teeth of a bigger pumpkin. Hilarious. That's and it was like pretty that. cool. I was proud of that. And he was vomiting. And he was, the, the baby pumpkin was like vomiting the pumpkin guts out. And you yeah. got a pick of that? Um, no, I didn't. Weird. I want to, what? Isn't that fucked up? Yeah, that's fucked up. Yeah, that's that's happen? spooky. That's now that's Dicky. spooky. Ooh, it's spooky time, Miles. Give me that sound effect. You gotta prepare. You need your popcorn for your scary movies. You need your candy for your trick or treaters. Don't be that jerk while without candy for the kids. Here comes DoorDash to help you out. The thrill of finding the perfect costume, the anticipation of trick-or-treating, the excitement of having the spookiest decorations in your neighborhood. You can get all your Halloween sweets and treats and supplies in one place, delivered directly to your door with DoorDash. And with DoorDash, you're not just getting things that you love, you're supporting the community you love too. Because from the stores and restaurants to the dashers driving around, each purchase provides a new opportunity for everyone involved because with DoorDash, there is a neighborhood of good in every order. For a limited time, our listeners can get 50% off up to a $20 value and zero delivery fees when you download the DoorDash app and enter code the tripod. That's 50% off up to a $20 value and zero delivery fees when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store and enter code the tripod. Don't forget, that's code the tripod for 50% off up to a $20 value and zero delivery fees with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. I, uh, lazy man's carving as I just paint the pumpkin. Oh, God. Did you? This country used to be so great, though. Can I introduce <laughs> you to uh, a little bit of, like, incredible consumer product creating? What's yeah. That? Target has come out. What's that? With carvable fake pumpkins. Hey, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Call your baby because it is a pumpkin. That is hollow that you can carve. Yeah, but it's not a real pumpkin. It's just like a Wait, how I, it's made out of some kind of like styrofoam. F- yeah, but of a denser foam than that. Some kind of foam. Have you ever wanted your pumpkin to end up in a landfill? <laughs> <laughs> well, this means you could use the same pumpkin forever. Yeah, that's kind of cool. I don't know. You can only carve it once. Yeah, you can only carve it once. <laughs> But then I you mean, keep you it. could keep carving it. Yeah, you keep making a base a little <laughs> bigger each year. Just that's be interesting. a little more away. The yeah, pump- that's an interesting yeah. product. The hard thing about California is that the pumpkins rot almost immediately. So fast. It's, it's so, hot so hot still. Hot. It's 90 degrees today. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like in the East Coast, it's like, oh, they kind of live for a while. And then at the end, they start to look a little Forever goopy. Young. But now there are they have like fruit flies on them. And it's uh-huh. like d- tough. I try and make a point to go to the East Coast every October. Yeah. And we were just in New York and it just, it doesn't feel like fall unless you're seeing them leaves change. Yeah, it hits I love you it. love to see. And then you got to wear a hoodie. Oh, you get that brisk air. Yeah. yeah. It was actually very beautiful. It was we there. perfect weather when we were there. It rained one day and that was a little less perfect. But I actually but. loved that too because I was filming that day. Oh my God, was, Zach was filming a great video. Yeah, it was, it's sort of like... <laughs> 
It's sort of like a sequel to the pizza slice video. Really? What did you shoot? That's how I pitched it, but but it's not. It it's its own monster. Couldn't be anything further. Yeah. I uh, I I filmed twenty four hours in Times Square. Oh my god, that's so funny. But I really filmed it like um, How to with John Wilson, which Love. is a, a favorite show of mine. So this will be a very poor man's imitation, and of course, you know, to make art, you just steal from something you love, mm, and course. in doing that, you end up making something new and different. And so, you know, I did some of the touristy things around Times Square that I loathe and had avoided my whole life. But then I just said, I'm just going to wait on a corner and wait for life to happen. And so much life happens <laughs> uh, in Manhattan, but especially in Times Square. Yeah. And then because it was raining, you had the, the whole street was a wet down. Oh, that's beautiful. And now you have the lights reflecting. And my favorite bit that I'll spoil was at night, I, I'm walking around and there's this guy who's exercising on scaffolding. He's wrapped a towel around and he is doing pull-ups like these incredible, like very, yeah. but not like normal, like diff, it's, I did some and it was very hard. <laughs> and I asked if I could film him. He's got this beautiful, like rippling muscles and he's wet. My camera's wet. So like there's like, you know, mm -hmm. lens flare. Oh, and then wow. the light is sh reflecting off of every surface and off his body. And he's talking to me about like how what he is doing is a service to the world because he's exercising, but he's also inspiring people as they walk Whoa. by. And like, it's just this beautiful shot. And then these French tourists walk by and I'm like, you guys want to go? You want to try and work out? And they're like, oh, do we the parlez vous? We don't speak English. And then this guy's like, I do, and he starts speaking French to them. And That's he, beautiful. And, he gets, and it was just like, what is happening? And it, um, I don't know, man. That's awesome. There's just something. It was very special too. To uh, you know, I had Keith and Maggie and Becky with me for parts of it, and Keith was with Lou Burger, so I had those guys, and that mm -hmm. was very fun. But for most of the day. I was just alone, and mm -hmm. no offense, I frankly enjoyed that more. Yeah, well, there's more to discover. It's right. just me and a camera, uh -huh. and it, it felt, especially after all we've been through lately, to just have like yeah. my hands back just to me the roots. And my hand, yeah, I don't know. It was very mm -hmm. uh, that's cool, very therapeutic and cathartic, and I just had a delight. Like I had a fun day hanging out by myself. Yeah, no, that's, <laughs> that's what awesome. I'm telling you. Videos, we can produce them all we want, but sometimes all you have to do is be in an interesting place. And stuff just happens. Things happen, especially in like if you're in Times Square. Like yeah. you, that's why the whole idea of doing the pizza video is like we don't have to plan anything. We're gonna walk through Midtown. It's gonna be nonsense. Like it's like we're gonna see, stuff's gonna happen. Right. Uh, and but that, especially, my friends, is a kooky. That's a kooky. What? Yeah. Go. 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 Dig me down in a Mazda. Dig me, dig me, dig me down. Dig me down in a Mazda. Dig me down. All right, up next, up next. Hey, baby. All right, up next, we've got um, a friend bringing a pot roast unannounced. Oh, that's a kooky. That's like, a kooky. Yeah, well, but it's like maybe it's like nine p.m. <laughs> Your friend shows up. Okay. It up. gets I guess the time of it makes it more spooky. And they're sort of standing facing away from you. That okay, you, well that's obvious. You spooky. they and you and you go, "Hey, hey M Miles." And, and I then turn he turns around. around slowly and he goes, "Hey, Barbara." I go, "Hey, baby." I'm holding a pot roast and I just sort of hand it to you and I sprint away. <laughs> that's obviously spooky, but but just ha bringing a prompt a pot roast unprompted is just weird. Yeah. That, now, if you add a lot of spooky elements, because pot roast is spooky. like uh, it takes a lot of effort. No, actually, it doesn't. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which ones? Oh, I should be making more pot roast. Then. It's it it's meat and vegetables and broth, and you cook it slow. That's a good point. It, it, in a pot, typically, yeah, a pot roast. A pot it roast. is about as easy as you could. It's <laughs> fucking easy meat. I would it's, be into <laughs> it, but am I gonna have to use up on my Tupperware to put it away? Yeah, you will. <laughs> is this the same old board? What do you mean? I mean, is it the same piece of hardware that you just loaded new things into? Yeah. We need to get you another board. Well, I'm getting a new mixer soon. You should get a 10 by 10 button board. 
That would be fucking. Well, so have a hundred. So there's several banks on this, and the same for the new mixer I'm getting. Okay, there's six or there's like eight buttons. But the new mixer have quarter inch inputs. Yes. Hell yeah. New mixer has quarter inch inputs, and um, and it fucking rules, and it slaps, and it's gonna make everything. Should we pick a date in the future that is a synth? episode so people can really be ready we for gotta it. hype them up for i think it. that's a great idea like yeah, it's like so you too. know don't that the surprise f- them the first podcast <laughs> like of december is a synth cut like we're doing a synth <laughs> cut you know it's coming yeah we hype it up on socials that's good because I, I got mean, way more toys now we can play that trailer and then it's just like and then a year later everything had changed <laughs> I, i'm getting better at it too mm-hmm. you also have to bring in the theremin well i got easier to i have a couple more easier to use machines now so like the thing that i had before the digitone it is hard to use yeah it's hard for me to use yeah i'm i'm not good <laughs> at it but i got some easier ones that's good i just got a text message from maggie with a screenshot of the bell costume and she wrote what <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did you order it? Uh, yeah, he ordered it for me. How much was it? Uh, 45 bucks. That's so funny. Yeah, that's good. That's a good but fair. All right. Up next on Spooky or Kooky. Someone moaning. I need more. Mm. I'm- Yo! Yeah, I, it's tough. I, it really feels like it threads the needle of both spooky or kooky <laughs> because we don't know who. We don't know. Yeah. The, let, me, let me give you another example. The timbre. I'll give you another example. It, okay, is it this see. moan? Is this moan right okay. here. I'm going to do. Oh. Uh, kooky. <laughs> kooky. It's not spooky enough. It's too weird. It's, it's too weird. kooky. Did you ever have? I had uh, neighbors who fucked real loud. Hey, man, we're just trying to have a fun episode here. I only had it. There was only one <laughs> year in college that I had a dorm neighbor and they they were. This wasn't through the wall. This was, was remember across that across the yard that that house across I lived in that yard. had that giant shared backyard. Uh huh. They were like another house. And we like if my window was open at night, I could just hear. Olympic style. Bing bong. <laughs> Bing bong. <laughs> Ow, ow, uh. Whoa, yeah. ho, ho, ho. <laughs> this is classic Universal Monsters coming. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, I think it's like if you heard it, you'd be like, huh? It'd be kind of a kooky because you'd be like, oh, like a, I guess that like someone's being Look, uh, not all these need to be conversations, just a kooky. Kooky. All right. <laughs> Bow. Um, a candy bar you've never heard of something with cream in it. So it's like you're at <laughs> so like someone you're like you're looking around in your candy thing and you don't really remember getting this candy bar. Oh, it's in my home. It's in your candy Spooky. bucket, your candy yeah. bucket. Nah, and you're like, wait, uh, how have I not heard of this candy? Nah, it's a total kooky. Nah, that's kidding spooky me? to me. You if, give me an opportunity. If it's in my home and I don't know how it got there and I've never heard of it. <laughs> why do you think it's kooky? Okay, give me. You, is it the cream? You oh well, the cream kind of throws me off because you know my belly. But I'm just gonna pretend that it's a candy bar that I want to eat. Yeah. You open your drawer and you see a little Clingsberry Crunch. Uh-huh. <laughs> Clingsberry Crunch. And is you, there berries or is it crunch? <laughs> is it like a raspberry crunch? Por qué no los dos? That's good. All right, all right. Raspberry Crunch. So bar. Cling, Clingsberry Crunch Bar. And you go, oh my god, I'm about to try go on a new chocolate adventure. See, this to me yeah. sounds like the beginning of an Are You Afraid of the Dark story. He opened his drawer and saw a Clingsbury Crunch. A Clingsbury <laughs> Crunch? What is that? He wondered. I might as well take a bite. And one bite in, he knew. He became a Clingsbury. He turned into a Clingsbury. And what's a Clingsbury? A berry that sticks to you? Oh, oh, oh. It makes Ooh. you clingy. Oh, that's cool. That's sort of like, yeah. It's like you want to hang out. You're like, oh, come on, don't. Society. Don't go this out with your friends. This is the tale of the Clingsberry Crunch. <laughs> yeah, I like that a lot. Mm. To me, it's like I just feel like at this point now, although there are new candies that I don't even. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the loop scares me. <laughs> it's spooky in here. I um. I feel like there are new candies that come out, but they're usually like, it's like Jolly Ranchers, but what if that was chocolate? 
You know what I mean? Blech. Yeah, there's. I mean, of- Tootsie Roll has that. Tootsie Roll has like <laughs> blueberry Tootsie Roll. I'm like, I don't want. That. Don't. Yeah. Ugh. Don't reinvent the wheel. Blech. We've done all we can with candy. Don't like do other shit. I know it's just taffy, but it seems wrong when it's supposed to be chocolate taffy. You remember Nerds Rope? Yeah, those uh, Nerds Rope bites. You ever fuck down on one of those? <laughs> you ever fuck down? <laughs> oh, Nerds Rope bites They're, changes the fucking game. Are They're they still out? Phenomenal. Yes. What do you mean? St- you got to go to a movie theater once in a goddamn while, bro. <laughs> Sorry. Or you, you never can again once you have a child. Once you, you have a child, you're never going to a movie I'm never going to go. You go. I'm goddamn never going. ignoranus. I'm a stream ignoranus. 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 <laughs> um, I, Nerds Rope bites sounds awesome. They're... Mm-hmm. This guy's never had a Clingsbury Crunch. <laughs> Clingsbury yeah, nerds. Crunch. Ro- it looks like you're drinking a glass of whiskey. <laughs> it does. You're drinking tea out of a glass. The like, guy doesn't know a Clingsbury Crunch. <laughs> you're 90. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess an nerds rope bite. That sounds good. Good. Yeah, they're good because basically you don't have to deal with this long rope. It's already cut into tiny little bites. That's and good. you just get more nerds per capita. Yeah, because yeah. the nerds are now on the outside, on the little where <laughs> the, the where the rope would have been. On the yeah. nubs. You got like at least 30% more nerds. Yeah. This conversation could be like between two like five-year-olds as well as us. <laughs> so Look, it's like way more nerds on it. It's no, like dad, dad, more- dad, listen, you don't get it. There's nerds on the ends. On the on end the butt. Dad. I like that. I, do, how do you feel about Reese's Thins? The fuck is I've that? I've never eaten one, but I think it's not going to be as good. It's not as good, but, but it is, is kind of fun. It's I'm a good go, chip. I, I've never heard of it, so it's yeah. like a like a thin. It's thinner. What do you think it is? I'm Don't picture- ask me, because it's like, I want you I'm to I'm picturing guess. A, a thin disc, like a CD-ROM. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's how, like a how CD-ROM. How big is the disc? <laughs> fucking thin. That's really like thin. A, like a big old CD-ROM. Who thinks it's as thin as a CD? Like no a, like, an eight, like a laser disc. Uh-huh. Do you Even know bigger. that God, has to go in good. there? What has to go in there, though? Peanut butter. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think that sounds good, because you're just getting more of a peanut butter to chocolate race. Can I be honest? No, oh, please. Well, the chocolate is harder. Because it has to structurally be able to facilitate it being thinner. Interesting. I'm out. So, Sharks, but I'm it's out. not that much harder. And I'll say that they're I'm pretty good. They're pretty Are good. they thin enough? You think to shoot out of those old disc shooting guns that we had? Yeah, that's funny. It's like a little puck. I actually, that could be fun. Shooting yeah. candy, <laughs> candy shooters. Yeah, and you shoot into people's mouths. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Shoot little discs. Yeah, them. Them. What about? I, so I have a, a <laughs> Nerf gun that shoots. Um, they're like balls. Yeah. And I, at one point, I saw, I realized that maybe some of the, um, what are those awful citrus fruits that are little <laughs> that some people like that they look like teeny oranges but they look like grape shaped. Oh, I have them in kumquats. my yeah. kumquats. Kumquats. I love kumquats. Hate them. So I noticed that some of them are small enough and I can make them round enough that I can shoot them out of my nerve. Gun. That's awesome. <laughs> but the times that it didn't work, it just. Like it would just <laughs> chunk out a broken, oh. broken fruit, and it would just sort of vomit it out the front. Gross. Definitely jammed up one of the gum guns pretty bad. Yeah, but was funny when it worked because it just shot a kumquat like forty feet. Yeah, that's awesome. And it was sick. We should have Nerf guns in here, and yeah. a standing rule that if you hit one of the try guys in the fucking head, yeah, I don't know, you get to do you something. Get a, you get a prize. You get to uh, be I'm first sorry. to eat lunch. <laughs> you want a standing? You want a head hunt? I want to hunt you. That if I get shot in the head, yeah, raise morale. You get a prize. <laughs> it raise morale for us to hunt you. As here's the what it is: if there's a single, <laughs> single dart gun, there's yeah. one single dart gun. Oh and yeah. Every morning we hide it. Oh, that's good. And but, you can't look for it, mm-hmm. but if you find it, you like, can't look for <laughs> no. it. No. How are we going to regulate that? <laughs> you fucking you gotta fucking be an honor. honorable employee i guess Scouts <laughs> honor. how do i regulate the hours of those who work from home i obviously don't that's but good, i have right. trust that's right so don't look for the nerf gun and don't like bend over as if you drop something and then you're actually looking if you find it because i've <laughs> hidden it today behind the ramen t- tub in the in the cabinet if you search grabbed it today because right. you wanted ramen you get the gun that's awesome. you get a single you get shot one shot yeah and if you hit us in the head you get Miles's Christmas bonus. What? <laughs> How's that fair? So well, I you can earn it. it back. I can earn it back. No, if just I whatever your bonus is, we we double it. Oh, whatever. that's good. Yeah, yeah. But if you miss, I like that it's Hunger Games style where I lose my bonus. <laughs> but if you miss, I'm gonna take a water balloon and smash it on your head. Yeah. Wow. And it's full of jelly. And you get to hide the water balloon. A water day. balloon but is we full do of get jelly. To for it. Yeah. That's a really heavy water balloon. 
That would kill you. Grape you better not miss. That wouldn't kill you. If Don't I threw a jar of jam at your head. If it was a jar, <laughs> if it was a glass jar, yeah. But if it's just jelly in a balloon, it won't yeah. kill you. I launch out of a potato cannon. Will it? Well, do you think it'll hurt? No, I was going to say break. It depends on how much jelly's in there. <laughs> a lot of jelly. It pro- well, yeah, because it's, it's going to be hard. How are you going to get jelly into a pressurized thing to put into a while. Well, as long as you don't miss, you don't have to worry about this. Like a Are jelly you confident fountain? in yourself? I'm confident. Okay. Uh, but I, don't I, even worry about the jelly. I don't take shots that I miss. I guess if I put <laughs> jelly into a big syringe, yep. I yeah. could fill up a water balloon with jelly. That that would <laughs> yeah. build out the pressure. Okay. Uh, Grape jelly or strawberry jelly? Or grape. raspberry jelly? Raspberry. It's got a lot of seeds. All raspberry. All day. I'm not fucking with grape jelly. I'm not eleven anymore. It's but on a PB and J? Yeah. Not grape. I'm like, Every so often, grape slaps. Yeah. I can't they, believe the advice king is over here knocking grape jelly. I'm not knocking it for anybody else, for me. You know, that's say, actually a new th- piece of thing. I don't make rules for other people. When anymore. I say J, what <laughs> jelly does your brain go to? When you say J? PB and J. Jam. Strawberry. And strawberry or grape. I, they're, either, they're equal to me. Raspberry. <laughs> I'm not fucking around here, man. When I think of PB and J, I think peanut butter. And I think raspberry jam, like a sweet little. But the raspberry tart. always has, you know, this is true. Seeds. Little crunchy bullshit seeds that get in your teeth. Only if it's a big seed. Yeah, but then you. Get I'm getting pick, preserves too. You get I'm to not... floss them out in your car and get gunk on your hand. It's exactly. Awesome. And I guess the gunk would smell it's better. Because... It's raspberry gunk. Oh, that's nice. Ooh, raspberry gunk sounds hey, like baby. a good candy. All right. <laughs> hey, <baby. laughs> yeah, it's the hey baby. That's the sound that we. Oh do. man, they're all out of raspberry gunk. <laughs> hey baby. Okay. <laughs> um, guess I'm gonna get one of these Clingsberry crunches. Again? <laughs> Kingsbury crunch with raspberry gunk? <laughs> that sounds great. That sounds good. Um, acid reflux. Now with double gunk. Oh, gunk me, baby. <laughs> Gunkatize me, Clingsbury. <laughs> Mr. Kling. Woo! Have your Clingsbury crunch. Well, Not Clingsbury enough crunch. gunk. Clingsberry Crunch sounds like the cereal. A Clingsberry okay. bar is the bar. Well, it's a crunch bar. It's a crunch Clingsberry bar. Clingsberry Crunch. You can have your Clingsberry and crunch it too. Now with twice the gunk. <laughs> that sound effect is scary with the twice the gunk. <laughs> it's a shocking amount of gunk. Too much gunk. Oh! <laughs> always, the loop scares me when it repeats. Did they used to loop? I think I said it to loop because I didn't know what I was doing. New orange Clingsberry crunch yeah. with extra spooky cream. You know what's annoying about this? <laughs> it's, it doesn't fade out the sound effects when you hit them the second time. Huh? Why would it? This Halloween, crunch into a Clingsberry. Now with extra gum. Acid reflux, spooky or kooky? That's a spooky. Yeah. Uh, I, I guess it's like acid reflux is, is your stomach innards trying to get back out. And that's kind of spooky, right? Yeah. It's, it's like it's climbing spooky. the wrong way. Yeah. I've been struggling. I've been fighting my um my own war with acid reflux recently. What is your approach? Well, I drink th- I wake up and I drink three cups of coffee. That's not going to help. On an empty stomach. That's, the, that's what I do too. <laughs> um, I haven't taken Omeprazole yet, but I was almost gonna, and then I was like, oh, I don't need it, but I have it. So essentially, like, I was having a thing where I was having trouble swallowing because of the... Um, <sighs> it's not that I actually was having trouble swallowing. It's just that the feeling, like, you feel like you have a lump in your throat. So I, I got to the place where I felt like I had a lump in my throat. Yeah. Took Omeprazole for several months. Yeah. Uh, and then I... Took myself off of it. Yeah. And now I have, I just, it, it, it has gotten a lot better. Yeah. And I also like when I have Tums, I only have one. Yeah. Just one. I used to be like, fuck four in my mouth right now. Just chomp them down. But I have yeah. one. Chewable? Uh, I get this Tums smoothies. They're good. Yum. They Wait. taste like candy. I've right. had those. They're the They're best good. texture. They're fucking, uh, they're um, delectable. Oh, I thought it was a smoothie. No, no, no. They're, <laughs> they're just called smoothies, but they're still chewables. Yeah. Yeah. But they're just smoother. You ever have that problem where you get like maybe they're soothies? Yeah, because smoothies feels like it's a bad marketing. <laughs> they do soothe. Soothie them. makes more sense. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I guess they're not smoothies. <laughs> I have a Tums, Tums smoothie. smoothie. It's the like new a- Jamba Juice flavor. Tums smoothies. <laughs> Ew. It's so gross. Do you want any um do you want the energy powder or do you want acid reflux powder? <laughs> it's just so chalky. <laughs> We're gonna have a lot of good foods today. <laughs> yeah, clings very crunch. Clings very crunch, Tums smoothies. Dumb smoothie will help you if you have too much gunk in your Kingsbury crunch. <laughs> oh my god. 
<laughs> Zach, you're saying something, man. You're not going to like it. <laughs> what is it? I was going to ask you if you ever have that problem where you have too much mucus in your throat because you were eating a Clingsbury crunch oh <laughs> and the raspberry <laughs> gunk built up in your throat. Oh, my God. <laughs> Zach, you're something that wasn't about Clingsbury crunch, right? So no, it's made just up about, words. <laughs> it's about Clingsbury crunch. <laughs> <laughs> too much raspberry gunk. <laughs> raspberry gunk uh, gets caught in your throat. It's true. Some foods do like make you super flummy, and it's really frustrating. Skittles for me make my saliva thick. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's a real problem. Huh. Mm-hmm. I don't eat Skittles anymore. They're too chewy. Also, they fuck my mouth up, especially sour Skittles. But wow, those uh, are fucking too sour. But I like. Them. <laughs> <laughs> they are the sour crystals on those are out of control. I love it. Something so about sour. Skittles that we don't talk like. They kind of shatter when you eat them, especially when they're a little old or when they're cold. cold. And like, why are you eating cold that must, Skittles? You, your jaw must be so tired. And You're yeah, your and you up. like have to like really fucking work. And there's a pain. Like a team. And I kind of like the. pain. Has anyone ever done a? You like the pain? Uh, like a whole bag of Skittles, like chew challenge. Like put the whole bag in your mouth and try to chew it, and whoever finishes it first, like wins. I think people die that way. It's just, a, it's really it's hard a, to chew. If you eat too many too Skittles, you can't chew them. That's why, like, I'm at a point in my life where I'm having to be careful about my teeth. I have a dental, I have a no, I, they took one of my teeth out. What are you talking about? Which yeah, one? I heard you lost one. Well, it's because I had a baby tooth that literally didn't go away. Oh. Which you my were tooth didn't replace so it. right to never tell us about. My baby tooth? Yeah. Why? Oh. Why? Because you, you'd be like, we would have been having a field day with your little baby. <laughs> little too. baby. But you it looked like a regular size. I would have asked if you had a stroller in that mouth. Oh my God. <laughs> I would have fucking gone nuts with those gags. You kidding me? Well, I have a baby on the way, so I had to get rid of my baby tooth. Yeah, it makes sense. Um, so Only one baby in this family. But they t- did a dental implant because like there wasn't a tooth to replace it. So essentially, they had to pop the baby tooth out because it was like in between two of the other teeth. Where so is it? Where's it? It right here? Huh. Yeah. Was so, it like sideways? Uh, no, it was just. How per- was it hiding in there? It was perfectly placed. In, it looked like a regular tooth. Like the only reason you could see it a baby because on x-ray there was no root, but it was in between two other teeth. So it was like not going anywhere and it was attached in just that it was there. You just had like a shark mouth and you just uh, had extra teeth. No, no, no. It was right here. Shark mouth. I know, but you had an, you were walking around with one too many teeth in your mouth. No, it was that no. the regular tooth didn't replace it. So like normal people for year where that tooth is oh, a so regular you just, tooth. You've always you actually. I just never had a regular. Does tooth that reset. mean that you have an undescended tooth? No, no. He just never had. I just never tooth. had it to begin with. But I did get a dental implant, so now there's like a metal screw where that is into my jaw. And so, but I've been having TMJ because I. Um, is this going to complicate you going through like an X-ray? No, because titanium. I have titanium in my shoulder, titanium in my mouth. Wow, you're big bionic. I know I'm becoming Wolverine. You are a. What what like a what's it called when you're half cyborg. robot cyborg? I'm a cyborg. You're cyborg. Get a Google glasses on me and I'll be cyborg plus. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah, the fucking new VR headsets are gonna come out probably in the spring that they won't tell us about are gonna be dope as fuck. Oh, that actually brings us to dinner. a part of the spooky or kooky. The metaverse, spooky or kooky. Kooky. Right now. It could become spooky. Yeah. But right now it looks but like the trash. legs. Legs just came out. Yeah, or I'm in between. Here's the thing. <laughs> I think that like VR technology is fun and cool, but the people who are pushing it, talking to you, Mark Zuckerberg. Got him. Yeah. Nailed him. Zark Zuckerberg. Zark Zark Zuckerberg. Zark motherfucker. I don't like him. I don't trust him. Motherfuckerberg is, I'm surprised no one's. Yeah, I'm sure they that. have. It, but his I, vision of, first of all, the technology is so bad. It like, yeah. I mean, or just dumb looking, like the whole, their celebration with legs. Yeah, that, it's funny. What is legs? I'm, they got you know about legs. This? They got legs. Okay, so, so. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they used to float around with just torso heads. Yeah, they've been, like, showing this incredible technology, and it looks like Half-Life from t- 12 years ago. Mm-hmm. Not it, even. Not it's, e- it looks it, worse. It, it looks, looks wor- horrible. It's just, like, so archaic looking and not what we all want. Like, Zuckerberg's vision of the future, really, he's, he's invest- his investment only pays off if there's another horrific pandemic level event that keeps everyone in their homes so he's like betting on the apocalypse which yeah. is just so bleak and shitty hmm. um but, but then, could be a but likely yeah but then yeah. also betting on this future where people like work in vr which is also That's weird. bleak totally like weird. doing off it like zoom mm-hmm. meetings in vr 
so stupid. Like, but, yeah, it's like, why? But they have, um, so they're like little floating torsos. And so they announced like, now we have legs. And they like showed like Zuckerberg jumping and whatever. And everyone applauded. And then a couple of days later, it came out. It's like, actually, those were motion capture legs because uh, obviously VR yeah. technology can't scan the musculature of your body. Yeah. Like that. No, like it that's not a the thing. Hands are cool. Hands are really cool that your hands your are hands. your controllers. But here's the thing, though, like the metaverse looks like a fucking like. Fisher like, Price Playground. Yeah, it looks like yeah. Fisher Price Playground. Whereas, like, it should look like uh, some of the themes on the it quest thing. It should look like Metroid. Yeah, it should look like Metroid. Like, it should be video gamey and cool. And like, you're in these new worlds, and you can build a little house, and people can come visit your house. That would be cool. But it's not like that at all. It's too Fisher Price toy. And um, but yeah, I don't know. It's it's a weird world. So many smarter people than us have written about this. But you have a company, Meta, yeah. Facebook is leading the charge into the metaverse, but they, one, have no experience in gaming. They have no experience really in building uh-huh. anything. Yeah. All of their quote-unquote innovations have just come from acquisitions, yeah. from mm-hmm. buying other companies. So you have this company that is like a dinosaur in the digital space that has not successfully innovated anything in the history of their company since the creation of the newsfeed, which is now what? 10, 15 years old? hundred. Well, I'd say the Quest old. 2. I guess they acquired They Bennett. acquired it. They acquired it. They have not done anything. And so it why are they stuff. the ones that are going to lead yeah. the charge into this new space? They're they're ill-equipped. But it could be cool eventually, but it's just not there yet. Also, apparently, there was this article that was about... You know I'm, I'm down for it. It's fun. Look, I no, love no, no, no. Uh, it's, the uh, virtual realm. I think that's a cool idea. Also, apparently, even people who work at Meta, like they can't get people who work there to use their service. Like it, it, like people who work there are not using Meta. They are just like... We should bring is, our headsets and they're like, this weekend. <gasps> oh, I for, oh we definitely it. should. Yeah. I forget what writer I was... Um, I forget who wrote about this, but I, I agree with his take that I think that in the future, we're going to be more interested in AR than we are VR. Augmented oh, yeah. reality. Yeah. Because yeah. the virtual reality takes you away from the space and is inherently isolating, right? Yeah. Like, you can't, whereas augmented reality... If you don't know what that is, it's when you have video overlay on the Go. real world. Yeah. Pokemon Go. But there's a lot of applications for it. That, I think, is going to be much more interesting to us because that encourages us to get out and interact and interact with right. the spaces around like us. If you yeah. could just go to a restaurant and as soon as you walk in, it says a little pop-up says, see the menu. And you blink, and then you have the menu. And then it's like, then it even will be like, see a recommendation for you. Like, cl- yeah. blink again. Fried chicken and mashed potatoes. Sold. Yeah. Or how about you walk into a restaurant and they go, do you want to be in the rainforest or in the spooky jungle? Yeah. That could be really and cool. And now you yeah. have this like overlay. Issue. I remember we were at um, this. Would you week- like your server to look like a big squid <laughs> or like a sexy surfer? <laughs> Hey, baby. Yeah. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get you. Yeah, there's lots of cool implications, but it is just like, you know, right now it's not quite there. Also, the quest hurts my head. Yeah, it, it hurts, hurts my, my neck. forehead. So the, they're making one that looks about as thin as um, snowboarding goggles. That's, That's really cool. The next cool. one that I've seen, uh, <clears throat> uh, the leaked prototype, um, whether it was really leaked or not. But anyway, it was like the thickness of snowboard. It was like, so oh, maybe an inch yeah. thick on your face. Looked See, dope. I was really cool. See, like, and I like playing VR. The one thing they also have to say, I think that augmented reality, those headsets have cameras, like, because they have to see where you are in your space. Right. So there's a totally a world where you could put on one of those and be in a physical space and it is enhancing your reality and like uh-huh. your interaction. I want to play Beat Saber so. and just see my living room, but see those arrows flying at me and I see my... Hell yeah. House. <laughs> my cats. <laughs> so I don't step on my cat. That could be really cool. <laughs> well. Well, are we at the end? Yeah. And there's, no. No more spoo- there's not a single last spooky cookie you got? I got one final one. Say it ain't so. Season one of American Horror Story. That's spooky if you ask me. That one was spooky. They got a lot more kooky later. Yeah. Right. They were Murphy's like the devil's of- alive and... He's inside this woman, and and yeah. she runs a circus. Yeah, spooky. Very yeah, spooky. I watched that new one. Watcher. Uh huh. I watched it too. I think it's like campy and dumb and fun. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you to Clingsbury Crunch for sponsoring this episode. You know, sometimes you get super hungry, and there's just nothing in your house that you want. Dum, 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 dum. And then you open a drawer and you see a candy bar you've never seen before. You reach your hand inside. Why? Is that a Clingsbury Crunch? No, it's the new Clingsbury Crunch with extra raspberry gunk. This thing 
gets the people going. You're going to have two times the raspberry gunk still in that same packaging that you know and love. Yeah, I was with Becky last weekend. We were driving down. I can't remember. We were driving like a theme park and uh, we were super hungry. And I opened up um, a part of my car that I really never look in. And there it was, a Clingsbury Crunch um, with, with twice the raspberry gunk. And we split it and it was super amazing. It satisfied our hunger and it just like it made us feel good. What I love about this is that you're going to get the crunch that you grew up eating, but now you're also getting the gunk. And so you're going to... It's, it's delicious, it's filling, kind of like a meal replacement. It's going to bring you to a magical realm. You'll be followed by the ghost of your past. And for every Clingsbury Crunch bar you buy, I think they have, they have this new program where they will hide another Clingsbury Crunch bar in a home of someone who's never had a Clingsbury Crunch before. So it's a, you buying one actually helps other people discover it. Um, it sort of helps you know feed people who are hungry. So your, your dollar is going sort of extra far when you support Clingsbury Crunch. They're always adding new gunks so that you're never going to have a gunk that you've had before. I mean, every time I rip that package open, it feels like something new. And what I love is that it's so much more affordable and accessible than traditional crunch-based candies. So get yourself a Clingsbury Crunch Bar with extra raspberry gunk. Go to clingsburycrunch.com backslash raspberry gunk and use code TRIPOD10 for 10 free bars hidden around your home tomorrow morning. That's Clingsbury Crunch TRIPOD10. Hey, baby. <laughs> Hey, baby. <laughs> I'm nailing it. I'm getting closer and closer to that closer exact closer. sound. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you want advice. No, can you do it? Well, if you want advice to you go for Myers, oh my why God. don't you reach over to your baby, Myers Bansadone, <laughs> for a little advice. Here we go. Uh. uh. Got. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> Name is Miles B, that's my name. Your mom and me are the same. Both intellectuals, both heterosexual, hanging out, kissing on the metrosexual. Mm. Oh. Taking the subway, me and your mom going to a ballet. Hey, Enjoying the times hey. and the laughter. Hey. Me and then hey. we'll do something hey, after. Maybe afterward I walk her home and hey, I say, baby. hey, this is so nice. Look at the roaming hey, world. Baby. Everything is so nice outside. Hey, baby. A beautiful night. Why don't we go inside? Me and your mom hanging out in the living room. I'm like, hey, may I get the broom? It's a little dusty inside. Okay, I'm going home. This was a nice night. I'm glad we didn't bone. Clingsberry Crunch. Hey, baby. The gunk. On the gunk. Gunk What's up, Miles station. Nation? How's everybody doing tonight? This spooky ween. Hey. Oh. Baby. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> mm, do you want your Halloween to be spooky as hell? Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you want your spooky little movie to make you scream? Ah! My advice to you is to set up a little flick. The Conjuring is a scary one. Insidious is a scary one. And turn out all the lights in your house. And light it on up with candles. So you're going to be watching a movie, but then the glow of flickering candles is going to be sort of, whoa. And it's going to add to the spooky ambiance because sometimes when it's too dark, it's too dark for a horror movie. It's like, Jesus, I'm going to fall asleep. But then if you light like five or seven candles like all around and then it's like kind of flickering, glowing mm. lights and then that ambiance of the horror movie so much. And yeah. they get hot. And they get hot. Oh, there's a bunch of fire in your house. <laughs> a bunch of fire. <laughs> Don't knock him over. Don't knock him over. Bam. I think this is great advice. I also have different lights. Like I have like galaxy lights in my house. So... I'll Sometimes put those on for yeah. a movie. Yeah. Little yeah. Little stars above me. Spookily dookily. Spookily dookily. I'm going to put all my spooky lights projecting onto my house for Halloween, too. Yeah. It's oh. going to be spooky. So. <laughs> God, that's heaven. <laughs> Every time it comes back, it spooks you. I'm just like, oh. <laughs>
Well, that's good advice. Yeah, I think candles do make for a good spooky vibe. Yeah, and it's nice to like, especially even in just autumn vibe. Like I've been sort of lighting candles, not necessarily for smell, but for glow because it's hard to have autumn in LA. So the way to fake it is just to like light a bunch of candles and have them all cute. Y'all cute. Don't forget about your candle. Oh man, I Go have come home. This is bad, but I've come home several times and been like, oh, I'm out. Do, 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 do. <gasps> the house smells incredible. I left, ah! a, I left a candle on for several hours. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's like tough. that time that I left the kettle on at our first office. Oh yeah. And the time that you put the kettle on the, on the stove top. The oh, you put the electric the kettle on the stove top and it melted. Mm-hmm. That was cool. Yeah. That was funny. That was funny. Good job, Zach. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a boss. Hey. Someone lives in that house now. Yeah, that's wild. And they just yeah. don't even know what happened there. Should we like... Do you think actually a fan moved in and like does know? That'd be funny. That'd be better. They're like <laughs> better. living and rolling around being like, and this is where Keith ate all the Jack in the Box too high. And this is where Zach and Miles <laughs> recorded the reveal of the candid competition with the Ulta challenge where That's Jared right. Popkin talked about how he had to walk out of the whole <laughs> mall. So funny. <laughs> Yeah, Jared was so embarrassed. I watched the compilation of Jared Popkin moments, then it's great. Oh, that it's re- it's really just the timing of the editing is really good because they put all the times he says "Papa's home, the bitches back" <laughs> in a row, and they're, they're really funny. Oh, wow, I have to watch. It's that. really good. We got to get the gang back together and go to another video game competition. Oh, oh my god, that was the most unrealistic experience. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> really didn't belong there. That is a uh, one of our, I'd say, most underrated videos. If you want a good in, go watch yeah. the four of us, uh, me, Miles, Keith, and Jared do a video game competition yeah. against Dead Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> and like Cloud Nine. Yeah. And like <laughs> the professional video game teams that were destroyed us, obviously. Yeah. Oh, that video is so funny. Uh, well, we got to give a big shout out to Clingsbury Crunch for sponsoring <laughs> yeah, this episode. Thanks so much. Go over to clingsbury.co slash UK. To get your new uh, extra goo, and remember, no, it's it's, tw- it's twice the raspberry gunk. Gunk. Um, they're working on some other gunky flavors for you, but they're gonna need your support to keep pumping them out. And just gotta say, you know, we we love um, when they sponsor us, so really yeah. appreciate it. Uh, <laughs> Don't get genuine. What do you mean? Getting genuine about Clingsbury Crunch, Keith. Hit us with the official tripod theme song, baby. Clingsberry Crunch. Two times the gunk, gunk. Clingsberry Crunch. Crunch. Run and get some gunk, gunk. Gunk. Hey, baby. Have a good-ass week, everybody. Tripod. Tripod.